that's setting up my apartment so that it's as toxin free as possible. And I'm here with Nicole, a building biologist, and we're now going to tick off a number of health hazards that might be making you sick, fat, tired, unhappy, miserable, a whole lot. There's simple things that you can do in your apartment or in your home now uh, to, I guess, make things a lot safer. So, Nicole, cleaning products. I've toted these around with me, uh, full of chemicals, or at least most of them are. Um, how much of a hazard are these? Okay. You don't need to use really harsh uh, cleaning products in order to have a clean house. We need to get out of the notion that it needs to smell like a hospital. Yeah. So there's a lot of natural products we can we can use, and particularly probably the best thing of all are microfiber cloths. Okay. The big no's are no ammonia, no bleach, fragrances, any artificial fragrances mm. should be avoided because there's a lot more research coming out now that they are hormone disrupting and chemicals or phthalates in fragrances. So I tend to recommend fragrance free, or make your own, or use products that have um, you know ingredients that are less harmful. Okay, so what do you use? Well, I use microfiber technology yeah, for too. most of my yeah. cleaning. Uh, they are fantastic. If you get the right cloth for the right job, then you can do a lot of and the house. wash them. They're Absolutely, not you know, put in the dryer bag, throw it in the washing machine. Fantastic, easy to, to dry, etc. So that will reduce the amount of money yeah. you need to buy cleaning products. Fantastic. The other ones is when you look for products go either fragrance free or essential oils. Don't use anything that says fragrance or perfume or puffer. Mm -hmm. uh, because of the fact that they could contain endocrine disrupting chemicals. Yep. The skin and lung irritants, all of those other things that are a real problem. Okay. So go for products that, that don't have sodium lower sulfate or cocoa betaine because they're harsh irritants, especially for dishwashing liquid because they okay. irritate the skin. Go for things like alpha polyglucosides. I'll list those on the blog for everybody. Um, packaging, I know a lot of people know that some of the Tupperware containers, or I shouldn't use the word Tupperware because they're actually a little bit better than others, so the plastic containers are really problematic. So yes. this is an old container I've got lying yeah. around. Right. Is this a hazard? Plastics, check for their resin identification code in the triangle with a number. Two, four and five are good numbers and so far that they don't contain phthalates or yeah. different stopping chemicals. However, two, two four, four, five are the wrong. Yep. Yeah. Avoid the rest. The problem with plastics is they should never be heated and they shouldn't be frozen. So personally, glass is the best option, or stainless steel, or ceramics, or yep. corning ware. Yep. So I, these are good for nuts and seeds and all of those sort of things, it's something that's not going to react to it, but yep. not good for leftovers like meat, which is acidic, or tomatoes and pureed foods like tomatoes. So you're and saying with these sort of old takeaway containers? Yes. Yeah. They, should, they were never designed to be reused. They're very thin, they leach, and even exposure to UV, they start to break down too. Okay. No good. So they, you're right. better off with something like glass, all of those things. So when I've got a pack of something like this, mm -hmm. should I transfer it into some kind of container, a safe container, or are these packets okay? The packets, because it's, they'll probably use polyethylene or polypropylene, polyethylene is probably the most common, uh, that, shouldn't be, that shouldn't be reacting with the grain tea, so I don't see that as an issue. Okay. Yeah. What about this stuff? Yeah, well, in terms of things like baking paper, there are concerns because the non-stick aspect is like the non-stick Yes. yes. So they're using perfluorinated compounds, mm. which they're having a lot of adverse health effects. So they're phasing this out. stuff a lot. Yeah. This can be probably better off using a brown paper and using coconut oil or something like that okay. instead yep. of using a non-stick paper because the chemical, it's hard to find out through the manufacturer what they're using, but it looks like it's perfluorinated compounds, which are a problem. Okay. Um, there's two other things that I know that you're a big fan of is the digital clock. Yes. Now, obviously this is not a hazard, this is a solution. The hazard, of course, is mobile phones being used as alarm clocks. Yes. So that's something that everybody can do, is get a um, battery-operated alarm clock. This one has lasted me around about 15 years, and I've changed the batteries twice. So, a very, very efficient way of doing things. What about incense? I burn a little bit of very, very natural high-end incense, yes. and also oils in oil burners from time to time. Yeah. I know they don't react with me, I know when things do react with me, yeah. but are these a hazard? If they're burnt every day, yes, because they, they are air pollutants and they will emit um, chemicals, depending on the fragrance, of course, and air particulates which will stick to the walls. Yeah. I love my good quality incense and I love my essential oils, so I make sure that the windows are open, there's good cross ventilation. Incense I use to create a sacred space, I don't use it every day and I suggest yeah. you don't use it every day. But for a special occasion or, or creating a sacred space, fantastic. Yeah. Central oils are fine, providing that there's good ventilation in the area. And scented candles, I 
most tend to avoid because I know Definitely. they just feel wrong. Yes, yeah. it can. Again, the fragrance issue. Yeah. So hormone disrupting chemicals. It, we come to a stage now where manufacturers eventually will, will market it as phthalate free or estrogenic activity free and that will start to come on the market and that's what you should be looking for.